In this video, I want to talk about why I think a moderate carbohydrate diet is by far your best choice for weight loss. Hello everybody, hey, this is Mike Cola coming to you from Mike Cola Fitness. I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 25 years. And in this video, I really want to explain to you why I think like a moderate to low carbohydrate diet is really the best choice for weight loss. I know there's so many different diets out there, so many different options and information coming at you from all different directions on the type of, of the type of diet, the type of foods you eat for weight loss. But I really think that with my 25 years of experience, and I've literally tried so many different diets. I've read every best-selling New York Times diet book over the last 20 years or so, and I really concluded that a moderate carbohydrate diet truly is the healthiest and really is the best way to go. Okay, and the main reason is is that most of your empty calories are really coming from your carbohydrates, your sugars. There's really very little nutrition in sugars. There's very there's not too much nutrition really in carbohydrates in general. Like for example, when it comes to your fats and your proteins, you need your essential fatty acids for good health. Your body can't produce these on their own, so you have to get them by eating foods, by eating your healthy fats, those omega-3 type oils, you know, those anti-inflammatory type oils. So you want a good percentage of your calories coming from these healthy fats. You also want to eat adequate amounts of protein. You need your essential amino acids. If your body can't make these amino acids, you have to eat these proteins to get these amino acids for good health. So you obviously want lean proteins. You know, you want lean meats, you want fish, you want whole eggs, organic eggs. So a good percentage of your calories on my type of a diet is going to come from healthy fats and lean proteins, including eggs and things along those lines. Even, even, even a little dairy, I think, is okay, okay grass-fed dairy. But where you really want to eliminate your calories are those empty calories. So my whole diet plan would be you want to eat a low-calorie, high-nutritious diet, you know, diet plan. So by eliminating your carbohydrates, you're really cutting back on all the empty calories. But the type of carbohydrates you do want to eat, obviously you want to eat tons of vegetables, you want to eat a rainbow of color, and you want different vitamins, minerals, and nutrients from, from eating different colors of vegetables. You know, your green vegetables give you different things, then your yellow vegetables, and then your orange vegetables, and then your red vegetables. So have a rainbow of vegetables. And you, what you really want to cut back on, and I've said this before, you really want to cut back on your grains. There's so many empty calories in grains, and obviously all the junk food, all the cakes, the cookies. But if you really cut back on your grains, you've already eliminated so many of the empty calories and all so, met, so much of that garbagey, junk type food. And I'm also a big believer, I know you've heard this before, you may have read this before, that whole insulin story. You know, for example, when you eat carbohydrates, like for example, say you have a bagel, right? Your body takes those carbohydrates, okay? They turn them into glucose, which runs through your bloodstream, right? If you don't burn that, gluco that glucose right then, where does that sugar go? Actually, it tries to be stored in the muscle, in the form of glycogen, or in the liver in the form of glycogen like glycogen for, for energy later. In case you need these sugars, you need these carbohydrates later. The problem is, is that once the muscle and the liver is full with glycogen, full with these carbohydrates, the body turns them into fat. And then it really becomes a problem if you're eating a lot of carbohydrates and you're doing it over and over and over again, you become insulin resistant, meaning that your body keeps on producing insulin to store these carbohydrates in the form of glycogen in your liver and in your muscles, but your body just can't do it well because you're eating just so much sugar in your blood that your body keeps on producing insulin, keeps on producing insulin, and then you become insulin resistant. And this leads to diabetes and a whole slew of health problem, problems. You know, I'm a big believer in, in that so much of the unhealthiness of our diet comes from the sugar, the sugary type menus and these sugar type styles of eating, you know, where you're eating these like, like low, low fat, high carbohydrate type diets, I really think are a way of the past. And I really think mainstream nutrition is going to go really in the direction of moderate carbohydrates, healthy fats, 
and lean proteins. I know there's a bit, there's been this big paleo movement, you know, that's a really popular movement now. I was blogging about it, you know, seven, eight years ago, but now it's really come mainstream. You hear a lot of mainstream athletes eating paleo. Paleo just means like prehistoric, like pre-agriculture type days. A book I love is that Primal Blueprint, you know, Mark Sesson. I think they pronounce his name Sesson. I'm just, I just recently reread his um, revised edition of the first book, Blind Book Blueprint. <coughs> Excuse me. It really is a great book. He really lays out a real scientific argument saying how to eliminate these sugars out of your diet. Okay, But the, the big thing I find that most people don't understand is what sugar really is. You know, people understand, okay, don't have table sugar, don't have candy, don't have cake, don't have cookies. But you have to realize that most grains are really just sugar. They're void of most nutrition. They could have a little bit of fiber and a few things, but like eating a bagel is the same thing as having just table sugar. You know, having a piece of toast is really the same thing as just having a piece of, a piece of hard candy. So these are the things you really have to eliminate from your diet. So for example, if you're 150 pounds and your goal is to say weight 125 pounds, the first thing I want you to do is to get your calories under control, okay? So you have to count calories for a few days, see how many calories you're eating, and then I would reduce your calories to about 15, 1600 calories a day, so 10, 11 times your body weight. The second thing you want to do is you want to switch over to all those whole natural foods. You know, anything that's a whole natural food pretty much is a healthy thing to eat. You want to make sure you get adequate amounts of those healthy fats. You want those omega-3 fats, and you want to definitely want to eat those oily type fishes. You know, you want to maybe you maybe experiment with some flaxseed. You can sprinkle flaxseed on yogurt, things like that. You want those healthy omega-3s you want to cook with. The oils I would cook with, the hot, my high temperature oils, I would see coconut oil, even though it's a saturated fat, there are a lot of healthy things in coconut oil. I would cook with coconut oil for my high temperature cooking. The other oil I would use for high temperature cooking, I would cook with avocado oil, would be another oil to use for high temperature cooking, like stir frying vegetables, things like that. And then when it comes to like, you know, for flavor, for putting on salads, Use your extra virgin olive oil for things like that. Those are the healthy fats that, that should be the cornerstone of, of your diet when it comes to your fat intake. And then you want those lean meats. You want those wild caught organic type meats. You know, pick the lean cuts if possible. You want those oily fishes like, you know, like salmon and sardines and things along the line of that. So not only do you get your healthy fats, you get those great healthy proteins. You want those, you know, free range organic eggs, eat the yolks. A lot of the good stuff is in the yolk. Don't be afraid about your cholesterol going up from eating the yolks. In my opinion, and there's books been written on, on this, that eating those sugary carbohydrates, eating too much of them, that's what's going to make your cholesterol go up. Not having like one or two eggs a couple times a week. That's definitely, in my opinion, not going to affect your cholesterol. But obviously, Check with your doctor before you do anything, before you follow any diet. Even run this whole diet, the thought process by a doctor and see what he or she thinks about this approach. And back to the carbohydrates, okay. If the goal is to eat a low calorie, high nutrition diet, it just makes so much sense to take those carbohydrates out of the diet, okay. Now also, actually, Mark Sesson talks about this in the Primal Blueprint um, book, like what the sweet spot is for carbohydrates. I would say in general, if you eat anywhere between, say, 100 grams of carbs a day, somewhere around there with about 400 calories, 4 calories per grams, I don't think you'd, I think you'd be in great shape. I think that's a decent amount of carbohydrates to eat. They have some carbs in your system without overdoing it. 50 to, 6, 50 to 100 grams is ideal, obviously depending on how big you have. You're 300 pounds. You know you can increase you can increase your carbohydrates. Obviously, have more, but I would say the sweet spot for most people is around 100. If you're athletic and you're and you're very active, 100, 150. But if you're eating 250, 300 grams of carbs a day, you're eating too many carbs. It's going to be hard for you to lose weight unless you're running marathons every day, and that's what I don't want you to do. That's one of my first principles of fitness. If you if you've been following me and watching these videos, control your weight with diet. And don't burn yourself out in the gym over training. Don't try to control your weight with these long, tedious workouts. Do it with diet. Okay? So let's review this quickly. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to count calories, see how many calories we're eating, just so we have a baseline. Then we're going to take our body weight, times it by 10 or 11. That should be your calorie goal. If you weigh 150 pounds, you'll be eating about 1,500, 1,600 calories a day. 
then you're going to switch to a whole natural food diet. Okay, anything that's whole natural is okay to eat. Okay, you're going to get those healthy fats, you're going to get those lean proteins, but where you're really going to cut back on your calories is going to be those empty calorie carbohydrates. So we're going to be eliminating most grains, okay, and obviously all type of junk type food, you know, junk food and sugar, and even juices. Stay away from the juices. Even limit your fruits, a couple of fruits a day, okay? So we eliminate the empty calories, and believe me, it might be hard. The first few days is kind of tough when you cut back on these sugars, but after a few weeks, after two, three weeks, I'm telling you, you will not be hungry. A sign that you're eating too much carbohydrate, in my opinion, is that if you can't skip a meal, if you're the type of person who cannot skip a meal, like if you if 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 you don't eat lunch, you're starving. It says to me that you you have too much sugar in your system. You know your body's producing insulin, it's taking the sugar out. You're crashing, you're hungry again. You're you you you're always hungry. But when you cut back on the carbs, believe me, the hunger will go away. Okay, so I hope everyone gives this a try. If you've been struggling with, with your weight and you never tried this approach, or if you tried it only for a couple days. You got to do it for weeks and, and months. You start eating the list, I'm telling you, three months from now, you'll be thrilled. Okay. Well, I hope you guys found, found um, your girls and gals, <laughs> you guys and gals found this video uh, uh, really helpful. If you did and you're watching this on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. You know, I might put this on Facebook. If it's on Facebook, give me a like. And I always like to end this video by saying, if you live in Westchester, New York, and you're looking for a great gym to train in, if you're looking to lose some weight, if you're interested in some nutritional counseling, Look me up. My name is Mike Cola. Uh, my gym is called Mike Cola Fitness. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon.